I just said this game was gonna be a train wreck. No one listened. I said this game's gonna be the next, you know, the last that I a very thing that, you know, the critics absolutely love. The critics absolutely adore. The critics are absolutely pop up at all costs, okay? There's something that, you know, the critics, you know, SCWs are going to defend at all costs. Pokemon Sword and Sealed is the next Last Jedi, okay? People have been saying, oh, it won't be the next Last Jedi. It's, you know, it's on the Switch. It's Pokemon, okay? I think all these people are saying, how can Pokemon, how can it be bad? It's Pokemon. Yeah, that's the little evidence these Game Freak Apologists have. It's, it's just small evidence. They have it being good, okay? And despite the Poketubers, okay? Saying how awesome this game is, and saying how great this game is, and posting how this is the best, one of the best Pokemon games ever. Even though we can play Hako and Soul Silver, and, you know, it, those games are way better than Soul and Seal, okay? It's funny how IGN, okay, the game, the company that, you know, these, um, apologists, as we call them, um, Game Freak apologists, or Game Freak, you know, defenders, you know, as well, of course, they're the ones, the only ones defending Soul and Seal, okay? Those are the only ones, you know, Defending IGN, okay? A company that, of course, gave Pokemon Mystery Doesn't Explore the Sky a 4.9 and gave Hako and Soul Silver a lower score than Sword and Seal, okay? These are, these, this is game, and it's saying it's the, and have the, and basically said, oh, it's the best Pokemon game ever, okay? But you can see here on Metacritic, of course, the SEOs can say, hey, it's a few bombing, how dare you? It's unreasonable, you know? How dare you not like our crappy games, you know? Our low quality games, you know, I we put out, okay? <laughs> you know, this is this game, okay? This game is, you know, Pokemon is the highest grossing franchise, okay? Wokeness killed the Star Wars and the fifth, the, the, the fifth highest grossing franchise. Now Pokemon's going the way of Star Wars, okay? A franchise that people used to love and was beloved by everybody. Okay, I can't put away because I have to walk in. But here it is. Okay, Pokemon Sword and Shield has a 3.4. If you know, you know, even on IMDb, it's a low score. Even on IMDb, there's actual game reviews on IMDb, okay? You know, actual um game reviews, okay? IMDb, Pokemon Sword and Shield, yes. There's a, you can actually review Pokemon Sword and Seal on IMDb, okay? You know, of course, you, um, any reasonable person will give this game a 0 out of 10, okay? But IMDb, of course, will not give, let you give games a 0 out of 10, okay? They will give them up, up down to 1. It's, and even on IMDb, it's 4.9 out of 10. A uh, 14 reviews, uh, because you, nobody really knows you can review games on IMDb, okay? If you have Pokemon Sealed, you can review Pokemon Sealed on here as well on IMDb, which only has 13 reviews. But the games did does come out, like, <laughs> that did does come out, but Pokemon Sword and Sealed. Okay, I bet a million of people, have, over a million people have played this game, okay? And then, we have people actually buying the game and saying the game is, you know, just terrible. But of course, that's not enough for the Game Freak Apologists, okay? You know, saying that, you know, that Game Freak is a liar, saying that, you know, and try and, you know, a company that cuts corners, a company that, you know, that, um, you know, of course, um, cuts corners, a company that, you know, of course, you know, and the Switch has easily the worst console for Pokemon games. It's not Nintendo's fault. It's Game Freak's fault for, you know, being lazy, making the same games over and over and over again, okay? Making them yearly releases because they want to make sure the anime cats... They catch up to the anime, which, you know, that's the more crappiest excuse. We'll get Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Okay, 6.1 out of 10. Okay, people hit, do not really like this game. Okay, the Pokemon fanboys and, you know, those people, Mads putting it up to, of course, you know, higher reviews. But Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, easily worst games in the entire Pokemon franchise. Okay, I have 6.1 out of 10. Okay. People do not like Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, okay? People do not like these games, okay? People do not care for what Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, okay? People want a game that, you know, is actually good, okay? Not, you know, casual bullcrap that, you know, Game Freak has been giving us, okay? And... And, yes. So, this is basically a sign for Pokemon to come and know that they listen to me. Like I said, Pokemon and Gen 8 is kind of doomed because they're gonna make... Because I was saying that, you know, they're going to cut features and stuff, and yeah, and I was worried about that, okay? 
Let's go Pikachu and Eevee were warning signs to us, okay? But you guys still mad to make this game Poketubers, okay? Yeah, you know, Super and all these other big Poketubers of 400,000 plus subscribers, okay? You guys are the ones that made this game sell 11 million copies, okay? Try and say it's, this is a great, one of the best Pokemon games in all the world. Oh, you know, how dare you, boo-hoo, okay? You know, how is there's a new game coming out, okay? Okay, Pokemon, okay, Son, Ultra Sun Moon, okay, so it's easily the most criticized games in the franchise, okay? The most criticized games in the franchise, Pokemon, oh, I think it's the only Switch games. Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, um, okay, Pokemon Ultra Sun, for example, okay, 8.8, okay, 8.8 out of 10. Even the most criticized games in the franchise, 8.8. Oh, look at that Pokemon Diamond, okay? Pokemon Diamond, okay? We're not going over movies or spin-offs, we're going over the main series games only. Okay? Pokemon Diamond and other games, which are some of the most criticized games in the franchise. 8.0, which is still higher than Pokemon Sword and Sealed. Still higher than Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, and that doesn't have that much reviews either, only 385 reviews, okay? You know. And, you know, let's look at, you know, Hot Gold, Hot Gold, for, and so, so, but this is Embassy using, you know, Hot Gold, another DS game, okay? You know, the, say the best in the entire franchise, 8.4, some spy, which only has 395 ratings. Okay, here yeah, as well, um, black and white, and of course these games came out on the internet was smaller, okay, black and white, black version, okay, 7.6, which is probably all the Zen Warners trying to vote down this game because it didn't have, you know, have my, my, <laughs> yes, 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 of course, this, this is a, <laughs> for our Zen Warner. That's the negative review for Pokemon Black and White. Force me to add characters with the real Pokemon. And I was trying to, you know, that, you know, the Gen 1s were trying to fold this game down. And then we had, um, Black 2, okay? You know, Black Version 2, okay? Was maybe you consider one of the best in the series. Besides Gen 1s, of course, you know, Gen 1 not like, who are blinded by nostalgia. Which is the reason why it's only at 7.6. But I think black and white too are easily, you know, they're, they're, they're not the best in the franchise, but they're pretty great, you know, games in the franchise, okay? Pokemon X and Y, okay? Pokemon X and Y. And then Pokemon X and Y had a higher scores for some reason than the yeah, other games, for some reason. Um, but of course, that has way more reviews. It's at 8.6. Um, Pokemon, which I think where all the Pokemon games really are gonna be, what are we really at, okay? Sun and Moon, okay? You know, Pokemon Sun, um, yeah, 8.3, which of course a lot of people criticize all for its for reasons, beyond reasons, okay? But then we have Golden West, Go Pikachu, and Eevee, they're the world's rated in the franchise, okay? You know, and of course they have Emerald and, you know, Ruby and Sapphire, and Ruby and Sapphire, Ruby and Sapphire, you know, and, you know, the, the, and then of course, let's go back to modern day, 2019, okay, 2019, the Switch, okay, everyone was excited for Pokemon Sword and Sealed, even I was excited for the game, when it was first revealed, I said, Nintendo, Game Freak actually listened to us, okay, Game Freak is actually warning from the mistakes of Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, and decided to put that off as a one-off game. You can actually battle Pokemon. Okay? You can actually battle Pokemon and Pokemon. I actually thought it was proven over the last, you know, Pokemon games. When the first trailer came out. Okay? It, uh, it looked like an actual improvement. Even, and I didn't really, have, and I really thought the Legendaries were boring. I always thought, oh, I wish they were, I wish Legendaries were not just boring dogs, okay? Um, you know. But then we have... Now down to November 15th, 2019. A franchise I used to love is now hated by many, including myself, okay? Because Game Freak is just so lazy, okay? They don't want to make games that, you know, people will remember forever, okay? 
They want to make games just for a quick cast grab. You can see here on Metacritic is at 3.4, and the, you're gonna think that Sealed has much better reviews. You're gonna think that this game has much better reviews, okay? You're gonna think? Nope, it has a 3.2, where it's, you know, as a person, so of course, as you know, here. Um, and the most important review I ever review on Metacritic, these are the best games ever made. Of course, you know, um, playing only have it for Pokemon RPGs and Final Fantasy and Zero Blade and Persona usually have some characters play as, yet people are upset about 400, bad argument, bad graphics, this, that's true. The game's graphics, okay, have you worked at Dragon Quest XI or uh, Dragon Quest XI, okay? Eight point, people love that game, there's a lot of content in that game, there's a lot of, you know, monsters you have to fight, okay? You know, a lot of, you know, 700 plus enemies in the game, okay? You know, Code of the own unique animations and everything, okay? And you're gonna tell me that crap, okay? And the graphics of Dragon Quest 11, they look beautiful, okay? They look way much better than Pokemon Sword and Shield, and they have the same, and they have the same anime style graphics, okay? Oh, the games are caught, okay? Look at my Odyssey, okay? My Odyssey has way better graphics if you work with cartoony graphics, okay? My Odyssey has cartoony yet realistic, gra with more realistic looking graphics. It's kind of a blend between cartoony and realistic graphics, but these are the people, you know, <laughs> um, the fake fans, you know, exposes, you know, that you are a sellout to Game Freak, okay? That you are a sellout to Game Freak, like IGN, who was probably, who was probably paid by Game Freak to say they're the best Pokemon games, okay? Real Pokemon fans, okay, appreciate, you know, love all the Pokemon in the game, okay? You know, love every Pokemon, okay? Now, I don't want to, oh no, and I didn't want every Pokemon, okay, there's, we, there's, of course, there's 800 Pokemon, there's, of course, bound Pokemon to hate, not Pokemon, I meant Pokemon game, okay, and appreciate them, but then, but then, it gets worse when, you know, um, you know, when you, when, you know, the games get actually bad, okay, and appreciate, you know, the new Pokemon and not be blinded by the stores, okay, uh, we only went over what a fake Pokemon fan is, okay, you're calling us fake Pokemon fans for, you know, who really cares about Pokemon? If you just like these games, they need to post them again and try again. And if you don't buy them, then don't talk. This game is basically this guy is basically telling you to not talk about these games because it's unreasonable. You know, um, I really love it, but the whole kind of natural deck sucks. Okay, <laughs> you know. But of course, if you you know, you know, you know, it's just 